My name is Florence Chalo. I am a marine engineer. I've been in the work field for close to four years now. Currently, I work on board MV Huru 1 as an engineer officer, and I also work as a project officer at the Kenya Shipyards Limited in the ongoing project of construction of MV Huru 2. Well, historically, the maritime sector has been uh, known to be male-dominated and there has been uh, cultural and social perspectives that have been developed that uh, some of the tasks and responsibilities belong to men. And this notion has led to what you're seeing, the few numbers of women in this industry. Uh, another reason is that there's inadequate awareness of the kind of numerous opportunities that are present in this uh, broad maritime sector. Yeah. And this has led to the few numbers that we're seeing uh, in women in the field. Well, uh, to change uh, these uh, statistics that we're seeing of having the fewer women, we need to uh, create awareness um, to the people out there, especially the women. And uh, this year's theme being a mobilizing network for gender equality, uh, all the stakeholders uh, should feel obligated to, um, to, you know, create this awareness to encourage women to join this field and also support the women that are already in the field so that they can progress in their career and uh, raise their profiles and uh, be able to hold prominent positions in this industry. And this in itself will encourage uh, more women to join the field. Yeah, we still uh, have some existing stereotypes in the industry that uh, well, doubt that the capabilities of women if they can actually undertake some responsibilities and uh, this has been a discouragement to some of the women in the field and they feel that uh, they have to you know put in more effort compared to the to their male counterparts and uh, this in itself is a barrier to the career progression of women in the field Looking at the Sustainable Development Goal uh, about the gender equality, which we know is a key pillar in, a, or rather, to attain a sustainable future, then fighting or advocating to have a gender balance in this field will, you know, help us achieve that. And also, women bring with themselves a different perspectives of things and eventually this uh, promotes uh, uh, the social and economic growth and development of any industry. I joined the marine engineering field as a cadet engineer and uh, I've been able to gain experience that has enabled me to advance and currently uh, I am a third engineer on board, on board MV Huru 1 and I also have uh, other responsibilities as a project officer in construction of MV Huru 2 at the Kenya Shipyards Limited. I'm a deck officer MV Uhuru. Currently, I'm acting as a chief officer on board. Here we have a, a steering and we have a compass. With this ship has no gyro, we normally use a magnetic compass. It's as many years since the ship was built, 1965. It's an old one. So it guides us to give us direction when you are sailing. Then apart from this, we have other navigation aids. We have a chart plotter. This is an electronic uh, chart. We have a, a manual backup on the chart room. We'll show you later. Show you later. This one uh, shows the ship's position and if the ship is on track. If there is any obstacles, like this one, you see is an obstruction. So if the course lies there, automatically you land on the underground water. So it guides us 
This one uh, has a GPS. It shows us the speed, the rate, total time to take, estimated time of arrival, and course we are going. Eh? The other thing is the uh, radar. Is, uh, this shows us anything that is floating on the water. Especially at night, eh, the visibility is not clear. So it normally guides us if there is any ship coming or there is any other boat fishing, they have not uh, displayed their rights. So this one helps to notice that there is something ahead of us. Then from there we have a chat room, which is manual from apart from the uh, chat plotter. We have a, a manual chat. Eh? You have to come here first. Uh, you have to come first. You place your you press your root. After you have just pressed your root on the chart, eh? that is the time you take the coordinates to the automatic uh, chart plotter, which guides you. Yeah, that's um, from there. Once everything we are done, the ship is ready to go. I'm a quartermaster in NV Uhuru, Kenya Railways Company. So what we do basically, what I do, I can say that I steer the ship. I take order from the officer on watch. You are given the course on which I'm supposed to steer the ship. Then I'm also to look at the radar angle. I'm supposed to sure I'm on the either starboard or the port side. Mainly, I have to, I work for four hours. And after four hours, I go to rest. But all in all, we work, uh, we work on a shift and it's about teamwork. We have to be three of us here on deck. So mine is to steer the ship while I take orders from the officer on watch. As also, we also have another person who does the lookout. So we have to have a person for the lookout. The officer takes care of the machine, the radar, chart plotter, and the GPS while I steer the ship to make sure I'm on the right course of the ship. In a well-structured industry, there must be a medical department and uh, KSL in conjunction with the maritime is not an exemption. We also have a medical department which uh, my role in it is to keep the medical records up to date and um, ensure that the, there is confidentiality of the patient's records and these records also help us to continue with the patient care when there is need for the patient to be treated further or records reviewed. Upon the completion of, of uh, MV Uru 2, we, there is actually a medical department in the ship and uh, the medical team are expected to be on board all the time since anything can happen or there can be any kind of emergency that needs their attention. Yeah. My name is uh, Jacinta Kiyama, working as a quality control inspector at Kenya Shipyard Limited. Kenya Shipyard Limited is a company that it's a major contributor in maritime industries. My role here as a quality inspector is to make sure it's monitoring all the incoming and outgoing products when I mean of incoming, we, we are dealing with uh, the metals and everything that we are going to use that is coming to the company. So we have to make sure, we have to inspect the materials that they meet the standards that we are supposed to be using. When I also talk about the outgoing, these are the manufactured products that we are having here. We do the inspections of all the products and we make sure that they are, they are meeting the, the, the required specification and also to make sure that we are meeting the client or customer's expectations. On this day, I would like to celebrate all the women in the maritime sector uh, and I would like to encourage young ladies out there to consider venturing into this sector despite all the challenges that might be there. 
uh, for us who are already in it, we are working hard and we will continue to support each other, to encourage each other so that uh, we can accommodate all of us and continue to forge a clear path for the future generation in this industry. My name is Hilda Okia, I'm a statistician by profession. I work here at Kenya Shipyard as an administrative clerk and I also maintain the database for all the productivity work done on uh, the ships that are here for overhaul and refit.